What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing analysis on CLOV stock. First of all, brief information about this company. Clover Health Investments uh, operates as a Medicare Advantage insurer in the United States. The company, through its software platform, provides a preferred provider organization with health maintenance organization health plans for Medicare eligible consumers. And for now, its total market cap uh, is $3.57 billion. They have a revenue of $690.02 million with a negative net income of $136.39 million. They have very good revenue growth of 51.74% year over year and they have total cash of $96.71 million with a total debt of $138. 0.36 million dollars. Their current ratio is 1.16 that is slightly below required level of 1.5. Basically from the financial standpoint uh, it is a decent company and let me show you why I am interested in this company for now. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on April 16th and uh, it's titled Clover Health up 33% amid speculation it could be a short squeeze and several bullets, let me quote it for you. Shares of Clover Health Investment uh, are up 33% in afternoon trading amid speculation this stock is poised for a short squeeze. A report from analytics firm S3 Partners this week said that Clover Health has a high short percent of float of roughly 145% and it is extremely high. In February, the company stepped off Wall Street concerns over a Hindenburg short report that claimed that the company's Clover assistant system was under active investigation by the Department of Justice. Clover Health admitted that uh, it received a request for information from the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission. The shares have dropped 33% since February 4th, the day before the report was published. And let me show you that uh, we have this huge decline in price for about uh, 54% to the lowest point since February the 4th. And uh, we have huge sell-off among institutional investors. As you can see, we have filings uh, made on February 16th. And uh, these filings reflect uh, all the sell-offs during the February. Next bullet right here is the company's recent surge in stock price uh, comes a day after announcing the addition of uh, industry veteran Dimitrios uh, Kuzakas to its board of directors. Kuzakas has served as the director of the Center for Medicare and uh, principal deputy administrator of the Centers for Medicare and uh, Medical Services for the last four years. Prior to joining CMS, Dimitrios served as General Conseil of United Healthcare's Medicare and Retirement Division. So, he is a very knowledgeable and very experienced person and that's why it might be very good enhancement of uh, their board of directors. But let me show you another spike right here. We have this spike in price on April the 8th and uh, it was about 30%. And uh, we have uh, the article on uh, Seeking Alpha as well and it's uh, published on April the 8th. And uh, it's uh, titled Clover Health participating in CMS risk sharing model shares up 16%. And let me quote it for you. Clover Health Investments uh, is one of 53 direct contracting entities participating in a CMS initiative designed to encourage risk sharing and provide value-based care. Clover is taking part in the global and professional direct contracting model for the 2021 performance year, which began on April the 1st. The company, which offers Medicare Advantage plans, operates in 10 states. Clover shares are up 16% to 8.53 in afternoon trading. And let me show you that after that we have we hit even lower price point than it was right here. And uh, as you can see, the lowest point you can read right here is 7.12, and right here we have $7.11 dollars. Uh, that's why we cannot have uh, this as our first wave and this is a retracement uh, to the second one because we have a retracement deeper than the initial wave and uh, I will show you in a minute my next thoughts. So, let me show you the 
article that was published on Investor Place and entitled CLOV Stock Clover Health Gets Some Short Squeeze Juice. And uh, it was published on April 16th. And here is the, the direction of all the information about short squeeze. So, first of all, uh, Space Guru tweeted that uh, S3 partners have uh, a report where they declare 148.94% of uh, short interest. And they added this screenshot. Then you might see that this was initially met with skepticism by other users on the social media website. However, other accounts on the website also jumped uh, in to talk about uh, the short squeeze potential for CLOV stock. As you can see right here, we can have even a sort of confirmation uh, that on Bloomberg Terminal there is a confirmation of roughly 150% short in interest. Here is the screenshot and uh, as you can see, Nearly 150% of shares in the health insurer are currently sold short, data complied by financial analytics firm S3 Partners shows. And as you can see, we have absolutely the same reference on the same company. As you might know, we might have absolutely different numbers of uh, uh, short interest among different sources. For example, right here on fintel.io, we have a short volume ratio uh, not higher than uh, about 35% uh, for now. Right here we have information and uh, it is a finviz.com. We have a short float 35%. And uh, for example on market bid we have only 12.58%. So we can see huge discrepancies uh, even between these low numbers. But we don't have numbers that higher for example 50%, at least 50%. Uh, that's why uh, this Reddit thread with the 143 upvotes is uh, a speculation. And because of the power of Wall Street bets, and uh, I, I like very much uh, this uh, community, but nevertheless, there is nothing fundamental behind this short squeeze, potential short squeeze. Basically, let's start with technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So we have this huge spike in price for about uh, 40% and uh, this yellow line, it is a exponential moving average 55. And as you can see, we poke it through and then bounce back. This means it is very strong, strong resistance on the way to the upside for this stock. And uh, basically I cannot have uh, any Elliott wave count for now because uh, I don't have enough confirmation with the volume and this volume I cannot rely on it uh, because uh, it uh, it made artificially and let me show you on a lower time frames for example two hour time frame we have this huge spike and then decline in price right here for about 17 percent so uh, what should you do if you want to invest or uh, if you want to make some gains during this hype Basically, I encourage you to wait and uh, patiently wait. We don't have any established uptrend because we don't have uh, higher highs and higher lows. We can see here higher highs, but this low is this point is lower than this one. Uh, this means uh, we cannot rely on it so far. Of course, you can tell me that this point, for example, is lower than this one and this one. Yes but we have to rely on two closest pivot points in order to establish these trends, two major pivot points. And for now, our major pivot point, the lowest, is right here. And that's why we have to have a confirmation with a good volume. And uh, I think uh, it might be only uh, in a couple of uh, weeks or a couple of uh, months when a new board of director, Dimitris, will do his job. Because so far uh, we have only bounces from several resistances. Let me show it to you. Right here, as you can see, we have this price action and we bounce from it right here. And uh, here is another one. And as you can see right here, we also have the reaction from this level. And uh, basically it's almost uh, each and every level. Right here we have very strong level of, level of support and resistance. Let me show it to you. We have one touch, couple of touches right here. Right here it acts as a resistance 
already and right here again resistance and resistance and we have to break all these resistances and uh, establish higher highs and higher lows only in this case we will see an uptrend strong uptrend when you can add your position so basically what should you do i encourage you to patiently wait and i think the short squeeze won't happen in nearest future because we don't have enough confirmation of the short volume and from the technical standpoint that's it if you like my video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and uh, see you guys and girls next time bye